Good morning, everyone. Thank you for joining us this morning uh, on our Texas Veterans Strong Creative Network for artists, vet organizations, art organizations, everybody who's trying to help veterans and uh, first responders. We really appreciate you coming together with us, trying to uh, help heal, heal veterans, give them all kinds of support and, and spread the word about opportunities and try to resolve conflicts also before they happen. For instance, uh, we share a lot of information on different dates to make sure that we're not all piling everything on everybody at the same time. So that we only have two people per event or something like that, we're not conflicting. But we've had this going on for a few months now and we're very glad that you all could be with us today. We are supposed to have two guest speakers, but I only see one right now. So what we'll do is we'll have uh, Mr. You say Shadow Shadow. Chateau. How do you pronounce it, Tim? Yeah, Shadow. Okay. Just like we'll the have French, you. We spell it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. Well, um, I think you have a PowerPoint presentation. Is that uh, did I no, understand I do April correctly, or or a Oh, okay. Okay. Well, if you have something to share, if you could please put it in our messages and then they'll be able to look at it at their leisure. But if you have something that you want to share for your briefing right now, I mean, like other than a video or something, which we can share later, uh, I will make you a, a co-host so that you can share screen. What do you need from us? No, I'm, I don't have any presentations or any materials I need to share with you all yet. Oh, okay, great. Okay, so I'm Denise Knabel from Art Spark, Texas, and I work with April Sullivan and Celia Hughes for it's a nonprofit for arts and the disabilities in Texas, and there we are located in Austin. I'm located in my house right now. I think most of you could just hard to, but April can't be with us this morning because they're in another event in Austin for kids with children with disabilities in the park. So. Um, We'll talk about a little bit about that later, but I want to introduce Mr. Chateau. If you want to go ahead and start, please. Yes, thank you. And I appreciate the invitation to uh, meet with you all here today. Uh, a couple of weeks ago, I met with April to uh, discuss a project that we're kind of kicking around up here. Recording in progress. Uh, I'm with the Texas Veterans Commission here in uh, Austin at our headquarters building located at uh, 1801 North Congress Avenue, right over by the new Capitol Mall area that they uh, developed. And we just moved into the building about six months ago. Uh, one of the things I talked with April about, and I've been talking with our executive team and staff around here, uh, we're wanting to kind of take a look and, uh, you know, kind of brighten up our workspaces and area here. Uh, as we are a veteran service organization here in the state of Texas. Uh, so kind of what we're going to, what I talked with April about is maybe, you know, working with you all to take a look at, uh, you know, maybe developing some mural, murals, uh, both, you know, military, uh, motivational and inspirational type stuff to kind of decorate our walls with here. Uh, one thing she talked about as well is that, you know, there might be a possibility that some of uh, the veteran artists out there have prints. Uh, and she sent me some information about some of those uh, wall hangers out there that what we could take a look at doing is, uh, you know, maybe kind of a three, six month rotational piece coming in and, you know, we get pictures from you all, we can display them in our spaces here. Uh, promote what you all are doing out there as well. Uh, one of the things I talked to April about when we did sit down and meet is we have a couple of things out there to help promote what you all are doing. Uh, first, we have our uh, monthly Texas Veterans Commission mail out that goes out to about 200,000 veterans in the state of Texas here uh, that are subscribed to it. Not everyone reads it, but they're subscribed to it. Uh, another thing we can do to kind of help get this information out and promote what you all are doing is there as well, is uh, we have a pretty good working relationship with Mike Warren over at uh, Fox 7 Austin there. And if you're familiar with him, usually on Wednesdays, he'll do like some 
veteran specific uh, newsreel for the evening news out there. Uh, we've had our staff on there several times uh, promote what we do at the agency and things, but we thought that might be a good idea to get you all some extra uh, media notice out there about what the organization does, what you all do as artists out there as well. Uh, I've already talked to our communications director and she's in love with the idea and things there. So, you know, that's kind of where we're at right now. Uh, briefly had conversations with the executive team, the uh, executive director and deputy executive director and our divisions directors. Uh, they're all on board. So I want to just kind of, you know, get, uh, you know, they, April suggested that, you know, she invited me to the meeting to kind of talk about what we talked about a couple of weeks ago out there. Uh, but, you know, we just thought this would be a great partnership, you know, an opportunity for us to lighten up our area and, you know, do our uh, motivational and inspirational um, pieces out there. At the same time, be able to promote you all as the organization and individual artist out there uh, to go into that. So that's pretty much kind of where we're at right now. Uh, I should be able to have a meeting with the uh, executive team, probably if not uh, next week and probably shortly after to kind of talk to them about where we're at in this process right now and things. But that's kind of where we're at. Like I said, we're the state agency that provides veteran services uh, throughout veterans uh, in the state of Texas there. Uh, basically, we have uh, eight different programs that we work through. Our claims and benefits, uh, people, people, veteran employment, uh, funds for veteran assistance, uh, veterans education, veterans mental health. Yeah, yeah. So we have uh, eight different programs that we operate and function out there. Like I said, uh, don't know where I went into the mute at, but uh, you know, we're, we're no fee organization. We're funded by the state and by federal money um, and things there. So, you know, we provide services not only to the veterans, but those eligible spouses and family members out there as well. Uh, so if you're not familiar with us, I encourage you just to kind of Google Texas Veterans Commission. We're not federal, we're state. So a lot of different things that the federal can't do, we can do. Uh, but we got about, uh, probably about 450 uh, staff members throughout the entire state of Texas out there in different locations, uh, all the way from El Paso, all the way up to Texarkana, Harlingen, Brownsville, all places in between. But depending on any questions, that was kind of my my five minutes of fame there with you all. Well, we appreciate that. Thank you. We always like any opportunity to have an opportunity, you know, to display our art. We love that. Do you, so you still don't have any sort of time frame in mind when you want to be able to start? Not, not right now. Right now, we're just in the uh, early stages of uh, going through this. Um, you know, like I said, I'm still going to meet with their executive team. I mean, they're on board. I just kind of got to get my <laughs> left and lateral limits about what they want to do and what they don't want to do. Um, you know, but I just wanted to take this opportunity to kind of introduce the topic to you all. That way, give you time to think about, you know, is this something that the organization wants to be a part of? And is this something that the artists want to be a part of as well? Oh, okay, wonderful. Um, Pretty much we, guarantee you they will. <laughs> <laughs> yes, Pam. Can I ask something? I'm on my iPhone now. Tim, thank you very much. And when when you do have dates in mind, um, you'll you'll let us all know or let Art Sparks know, and so the word can come through to the rest of us about exactly what you want, where, when, and when. And I was delighted to hear you talk about murals because. Um, Austin, uh, PBS had a, a wonderful right. show, Austin's Murals, recently, yeah. and how it's um, really becoming so high pro profile around the country. So it would be great if, if you could locate an area that is bare. <laughs> well, we, we, we got dedicated. nothing but bare walls right now. Well, I'm glad. I'd be interested to know where, because most walls have already been muraled. But um, um, so. Well, they just and, bought it. One of our artists um, is a muralist herself, so um, I'd, I'd be delighted to know when you want to gear up and what, what you have in mind. So thank yeah, you. Yeah. Absolutely. Once we kind of get a little bit further in it, you know, and I'll, and I'll work mostly through April there uh, and things to get the information out to you all. Uh, Perfect. But, you know, we could certainly host a walkthrough. That's what I did with April when she came through. We kind of just walked our oh. spaces here. 
talked about what we're looking at, what we're thinking about. And she started, wheels were in motion <laughs> and things. She's like, oh, we can do this. And I'm like, okay, yeah, you know, let's, <laughs> let's, let's take a full 30 inch. Absolutely. With the Great. 30 inch step first. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and and yes, of course, uh, Art Spark will help him, you know, to figure out the who's and what's and where's and when's, and we'll get the words out to everybody. Okay. Thank you so much. Mm -hmm. well, my pleasure. Thank you Thank all you, for being here today and stuff. And I guess if anybody, if there are any questions for me and stuff, if not, I'll go ahead and step out and let you all do your business. Well, you mm -hmm. can stay. Wait, you can okay, stay. Right. stay if you want. Um, <laughs> be, well, because at the end, when we, we get done with the guest speakers and after we do the announcements for what's coming up we'll let everybody introduce themselves so that we can all talk and see what everybody's doing okay all so right. if you yeah. wanted to stay and hear that um is mario lopez on he was supposed to be our second guest speaker okay um apparently something happened but mario lopez is with the new century art guild in new Braunfels. And he is also a veteran artist and he has a show coming up in Dallas and he wanted to talk to us about uh, getting exposure for the Dallas show and maybe getting some folks to apply to that show there. I don't think he'll have any problem with that. We've got quite a lot of artists who are interested in showing their work. So um, if he, well, we will speak to him and find out, you know, what happened, but we will put some information out on what he was going to say so that we don't miss out on that. Okay. Myself a note. Okay. Now, before we go into letting everybody talk about their things and what they've got coming up, we have uh, Artist of the Year Awards that are showing on the Art Spark website right now. And there's a few different categories. You, if you know someone or yourself, you can also apply yourself and nominate yourself for Artists of the, Artists of the Year Awards. So the deadlines for those are on April 30th. So go on in there and look. You have somebody you wanna nominate or yourself. See if you're eligible. Okay, and then tonight from seven to eight, we have our Women's Veteran Strong Meeting, and you can sign up for that on Art Sparks website also, and it'll send you a link for tonight at seven o'clock, and we're going to be doing Happiness Rocks with Sonia Cross, and basically that is just an opportunity for female veterans to kind of relax, get some art and creativity going, and to talk, and uh, it's been working out very well, and we hope to see you there, if you can share that opportunity too. Then also, 10 o'clock on the 21st, so next week, on Friday, we have a meeting at 10 o'clock, and that is, uh, I know April sent out a link for that, but it's a nature workshop that we want, uh, that Arts Park wants to give the opportunity for another organization to host. So we'll provide the coordination and the teaching artists, and we need you in your area to provide a nature workshop type art, art activity. And so we're hoping that we get somebody to raise their hand and between May and September, we want to host one or more of these art uh, these artist workshops in various locations. So if you're interested in that or know anybody else who might be interested in that, please our meeting at 10 o'clock on the 21st, and we're going to start planning that. Okay. But as I said, we'll pay for the teaching artists. Our spark will pay for the teaching artists. We just need you to do the business right there on the ground in person. Okay. And then on 11th of May is our next meeting for this group. And we hope that uh, you will invite more folks to come and attend so that we can continue growing our network. Okay. So that is all the stuff that we have to get through and I want to make sure that everybody gets the chance to introduce themselves and talk about their program. So um, Mr. Herrera, are you there? Okay, do you want us to give a brief? Sure. So my name is Jaime Herrera. I'm with Blue Bonnet Trails. Um, we have an amazing grant called the Staff Sergeant Fox Grant and we're doing a lot of things with suicide prevention. 
Uh, we have a processing group at Heroes Night Out at 6 p.m. And I myself am a veteran peer. Uh, I'm working on getting all my designations by the state, but that's what I'm there for. And we're trying to work with different organizations to be able to host those things. And then if an organization wants us to have resources or different opportunities, we'll be there as well. Uh, me and April have worked back and forth because she, she is such an integral part of the community that sometimes veterans come to her for resources. And then they say, hey, can you help us out? And we take it on from there. Uh, we, like I said, we focus on suicide prevention, but if there's any other resources you need, we're a call away. Awesome, and you're in Texas. Yes, I'm in Texas. Uh, the program is specifically in Williamson County, but we we, we actually operate in, uh, from Williamson County to Guadalupe County and all the other counties in between. Okay, also, how, how long have you guys been around? So this organization has been around at least uh, 10 to 15 years. Uh, the, the grant has, has just been new. So we're still trying to work out some of the hiccups and small things with that. Um, I've been doing veteran peer services for almost five years now through my own uh, lived in experiences and my own opportunities dealing with certain things of being a veteran and transitioning home. Thank you. Of course. That. Uh -huh. Ms. Oh, I'm sorry. I just done? wondered if I could ask okay. a question. Yes, ma'am. Yes. Um, do you have a physical location in Williamson County? We do have one. It's at uh, off. It's in Round Rock. Um, okay. We have an office right there across the American Legion four four seven, I believe. Um, I don't know where that is, but okay. I am in Round Rock. Do you have okay. like an address? Do you mind? Yeah, I can send it to you on the side, and we can communicate with that. Yeah. Okay. Um, yeah, we, you can go ahead and put it in the chat. That would be great. Put it in the chat. Gotcha. And yeah, we're still trying to figure out because we don't have a lot of space to actually meet. So we're trying to find good places where if there is a peer group besides Heroes Night Out, that's more on the other side of 35. There's a place that maybe we can put another processing group. That way someone can't get on one side of town, they have the other side of town. Does anyone else have a question for Mr. Herr? That didn't catch the name of the organization. Uh, Blue Bonnet I Trails. Blue Bonnet Trails. Okay. All right. Good catch, Pam. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Ms. Rodriguez? Hi there, everybody. I'm Laurian Rodriguez, from the Institute for Military and Veteran Family Wellness at the University of Texas at Austin. Um, the first thing I want to tell you about is I dropped a link into the chat is our upcoming conference. This is for military social workers and clinicians. Um, it's coming up in June. We are having a series of talks on um, art therapy, and actually it is Art Sparks National that um, should be coming and um, presiding. I think we might have a speaker from the Fort Hood area that may end up being um, the guest speaker speaking on that. So if that's of interest to anybody um, working in the veteran space to learn more, uh, or if you need your CEU clinical hours, that's an opportunity. Um, also this weekend we have, um, that came out of this group is um, our collaboration with Veteran Art Therapy um, to offer spouses and caregivers and family members of our veterans and, and veterans too. Um, the VSN has a focus on the spouse, family, and caregivers of veterans. Um, but we're offering a watercolor wellness workshop on Sunday at 2 p.m. in collaboration um, with Veteran Art Therapy. So we're very excited about this. This is, um, this, we as an organization don't do art ourselves. We offer peer support for the spouses and caregivers and family members of um, our veterans, but we partner with other entities and um, therapeutic practices that do a wide range of services. It was feedback from our polling that has essentially brought us into the arts where um, where the spouses, they, they want to learn about the arts. They want this creative um, outreach and creative expression. So we're very excited to give this a try on, on Sunday. Um, we had a macrame group the previous month that was pretty good. Um, and then we've had some journaling. So if your organization or if you're willing to teach an online 
class, um, this is something that we could potentially partner and collaborate on. Um, if your if your organization is open to um, serving the spouses, caregivers, and family members of our veterans. And uh, just a little bit about me, I am a U.S. Air Force veteran myself and um, active duty spouse. My um, service member is retiring out in, in November. So if you have any questions about the VSN or the Institute in terms of the research and the um, conference, please let me know. Or if your organization would like to give an online class a try, um, we've had really good response to Sunday's class. We have um, close to 30 people. We had to extend registration. Um, for this for this event. So very excited and thankful to this group that um, that helped helped to bring us together with veteran art therapy. Um, are, do you have a very a simple email because there's a very long four lines <laughs> of your HTTPS here. Do you have a very simple email? Yep, dropping it in the chat now. All right. And what time on Sunday and is it all through zoom? If we want to spread the word, it's um, it's two o'clock on Sunday and it is through Zoom and mm -hmm. I will drop you the link to the registration site for it if you want to help spread the word. But like I said, we're almost at capacity with this event. We extended it from 25 to 30 and I think we're up to 28 registrants at this point. So there is a desire um, to, I mean, among the spouses and caregivers community, um, the majority of the spouses we work with at the VSN have a veteran in their life with PTSD or a TBI, and that can be extremely isolating to those yeah. families. So they are looking for ways to express themselves and ways to build community. Um, and I think the arts are wonderful way and what y'all bring to the table um, with your skill set um, is is great for collaboration. So I'll drop I'll drop my contact information in the chat and more about the specific event on Sunday. Thank you. Awesome. Thank you. Does anyone else have any questions for Ms. Rod Rodriguez? Okay. Ms. Gonzalez. Unmute her. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> There you go. Yeah, all right. <laughs> Sorry. Um, yeah. Um, well, I mean, I don't represent an organization, though I've been uh, working with um, Art Spark and I've worked for them for a long time. And I'm just a prolific artist looking for that right connection, somebody that can help me. Um, I do. Uh, pattern design and experimental art and just thousands of each so but I don't know at this point I'm beyond you know wanting to do YouTube and teach myself I'm wanting to maybe partner with someone or you know whatever so that's me that's all okay thank you Miss Aldera Hello, I'm Tammy Olvera. I am with uh, Help Heal Veterans uh, Organization here in Temple. Our headquarters are in California, but we have a community-based clinic. We call it clinic, but it's not really like clinical, clinical. We do arts and crafts uh, with veterans. We provide therapeutic craft kits. Um, all our uh, services are free. We also offer classes. Um, all kinds of different arts and crafts classes in here. We are having um, quilting class actually today in the afternoon. Um, we open Monday to Friday. I can put the information in the chat, like uh, the address and everything, but um, this is what we do. We do arts and crafts all uh, with veterans and uh, active military members and um, we love to work with that. And, and uh, we plan all the time, like different classes. I know we're having a drawing uh, class on this coming May uh, with the, an artist from uh, Austin, Frank Mendes. He's gonna come and teach us a portrait, a drawing portrait class. 
Um, we also have leather work classes here. We have every two weeks, we have quilting. On Wednesdays, we have a group that gets together here for knitting and crochet. If they know how to do it, they can just come and join. And if they wanna learn how to do it, they can just come and uh, in here. Uh, we have volunteers that can teach you. So all the different things um, we're having, we're gonna have an event for, it's called Vigil for Valor. And it's gonna be for Memorial Day in May, May uh, 24th. Uh, we're having it at the American Legion in Belton. So we're gonna be there for a little bit with them too. So a little bit of everything. If you want to uh, do it, uh, anything that like crafts, arts and crafts, just stop by and see what we have. We have a lot of different stuff. All our services are absolutely free. Um, classes are free, everything. So yeah, any questions? So would, would you send stuff to us in Texas if we wanted to do a craft? Night I'm not sure how that would work. Uh, mm -hmm. If we can send it, if you're in local, kind of locally, like we're in Temple, um, I know there's different organizations from Williamson County that they come over and pick up craft kits from us, like boxes, like a big amount. Um, we can figure something out. If you're not too far, we can kind of like mid in the middle or try to figure out a way we'll, we'll um, work with you guys. I know we have another lady that does, she normally is here too, um, Melody. She is mm -hmm. in San Antonio. So it's like, she also distributes over there. So we can kind of like figure out who can, who will be the closest one. But yeah, we can do, we can do something like that for organizations too. Uh, we also work here with the VA, domiciliary, all of them. They come and pick up craft kits from us. Uh, they're called therapeutic craft kits. It has all the information in there on like if it, if it requires like modern skills. Uh, all of them come with like a little, um, let's see. Yeah, I have it several in here. So it has little information about like estimated completion time, difficulty level. So it has all the, um, like if you need fine motor skills, all of them come with everything you need to put together certain item. And if you need needle, thread, whatever, it's gonna be inside of the package. So um, they could just take this with them and work at their homes or they can work anywhere you don't need to like well maybe like scissors and stuff but nothing like major that you need tools for everything is going to be in there it has instructions step-by-step -step pictures we're also working on putting um up a youtube channel with like in, like video instructions on how to put them together but yeah that's going to take a little while because we have i don't know over a hundred different craft kits so It'll take a while, but well, that's awesome. Yes. Great. Does anyone have any questions for Miss Olvera? Any questions. I just asked for the name and address to if you can type oh, yes. that. Yeah, it's Help Heal Veterans. Well, I'll, I'll put all the information here in the chat. Okay. Um, but yes, uh, Help Heal Veterans. We are a nonprofit organization uh, based in California but we uh, are here locally in Temple, Texas. Let me see. Okay. Looks like Pam's having problems again. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. There we go. Okay. Um, um, just, just items just in the, items the chat. chat. Tammy. Tammy. Yes. Yeah, I'll, I'll put the information here. Uh, help you parents. Okay. Pam, do you have a, uh, Ms. Ferguson, do you have something that you'd like to share? Mm. Can she not hear us again? <laughs> Pam? There, maybe there's a delay or something. Um, okay. Roy, I don't know what your last name is. 
I'm here. Can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you. My last name is Cervantes. Okay, hi. Thank you Hello. for joining us. Thank you for for having a, for having me. I, I don't represent an organization. I'm, I'm a veteran that writes for therapy, and I I don't know if you're familiar with the National Creative Arts Festival, Veterans Creative Arts Festival, mm -hmm. and so I entered a story there. Uh, and it won for its place. So I turned that story into a children's book. I don't know if you can see, if you can see it here. And so the children's book is called Never Wake Up a Sleeping Dragon. And it's available now on, on, on uh, Amazon and Barnes and Noble and bookstores like that. But the, the, the book, I used my <laughs> personal experiences, experiences to write the book. Like and it it uh it it's a it, it it's a book that is really good at at, at uh, teaching children empathy and kindness, but the book is primarily about PTSD with the dragon in essence being me in my home and how what it was like for my children not being able to wake to wake me up uh, mm -hmm. because of the startling effect, and so it's a really good book that, that teaches children to help them understand. Uh, when they have a parent or a sibling that has PTSD, because it's very hard for them. My, my sons, I didn't explain it to them until they were older. Uh, uh, so I didn't tell them anything when they were younger. And so when I told them when they were older, they suddenly understood their dad a lot better, you know? And so I, I decided to put that, that story in this children's book. And so it just came out this month and I have other stories that I do want, um, want to want to turn into children's books that'll help primarily children of veterans and dealing with the issues that they may encounter with when they have a, 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 a parent or a sibling that has not only PTSD, but other disabilities. Mm -hmm. It's very interesting. I think a lot of people would like to hear, like to hear from you, be interested in hearing your story, yes. but also how you had success in in getting a book published. Yeah, and you know, I, I put I went ahead and put the award here, and and, and, it, and as a matter of fact, the the, the National Creative Art you can see it here, and I put it in the front. But the the Creative Arts Festival is being held, hosted this week in St. Louis, Missouri. I, I entered a second story into it for this year, and it won third place. Uh, but they only take the first place winner, the first place writers to the arts festival. So oh. we'll see, we'll see what happens next year. I plan on entering in an, another story next year. Right, very interesting. Does anyone can, have any questions? Can you put Roy, put Roy, put his details in the chat? Oh yes, could you give your contact information? Would you be willing? Sure, I'll, I'll put it in the, I'll put it in the, in a message. Uh, I am available for book readings and stuff like that. Um, I, I do live in McAllen, Texas, and, and right now, primarily, I'm reading the book at um, schools and book fairs, primarily. But I know that there's a lot of events that VAs across Texas or the country host for families and children and stuff in different organizations. And and um, uh, so I just want to let you all know that that I am I am available for these readings and stuff, but I will put my info here on the on the on the chat. Great, thank you. Okay, Pam. Now that we have you, would you <laughs> like to? Do you have any updates? Um, I'm um, sorry I'm about sorry the technical about problems. Um, 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 I'm one of the co-founders of the Artemis Group of Women Veteran Artists. And uh, we're meeting at La Pena Gallery in um, Congress Avenue tomorrow to discuss a show uh, that was staging in June. And I will send you those details. I'll send them to Artsbox. Okay. I'm sorry about the technical, the bubbly sound. <laughs> Makes things interesting. <laughs> okay. Well, that concludes all of our uh, official business today. Does anyone have anything else they'd like to talk about? Okay, so again, um, tonight we have, 
we have our seven o'clock meeting tonight. And please, if you can attend the meeting next Friday at 10 o'clock, really appreciate it. Did I hear somebody say something? Yeah, me. Yes, ma'am. Um, I'm thinking that, um, Roy, it'd be really cool if you did a workshop or something um, mm -hmm. on how you did all this. I just think it's really cool, you know. Um, you got it all put together, published, and, you know, out there. Yeah, I, I am I am willing to do that um, and show other veterans, not only that, but how to how to enter your stories in or not just your stories, but your artwork. Um, I think I think veterans have a lot of unique stories to share. Um, yeah. yeah. And, yeah. And, and and also that I think that when they do artwork, I think a lot of veterans don't know just how therapeutic art is. Uh, uh, for me, it, it happens to be writing. For some people, it, it, it could be whatever type of art it is. Art, it is. And so, but I am willing to, to host a workshop for veterans that, that have a story to tell. And they, they the, tech, the writing techniques that I use and, and what I did to, to get this, it took me a year to get it finally published, right? But it's just a bold step to do that, and um, I don't know what the process would be to to get a workshop together. We will we'll work on it. We can do it. Okay. Well, I put my info in there. You can email me or call me, and and I can do a combo in person Zoom Zoom and an, an in person event. Uh, I know you all are. Art Spark is in Austin, right? My yeah. son lives in San Antonio, and so I have another one in Dallas. So, uh, you know, I just look for reasons to go visit them. So mm -hmm. it's, it's very easy to put this together. I'm, I'm, I do a lot of volunteer work. You Where know, are to, you? I live in McAllen in South Texas. South so, Texas. Yeah, about four hours south of San Antonio. Okay. Uh, a lot of people think Texas stops in San Antonio, but no, you still have another <laughs> four hours drive south. But that's where I'm at. So I am I am working on other stories to put out. I, I do have an audio novel that I that I put out called a Texas Story. That one is also on different audio books. You can look up you can look it up. And so I wrote I'm writing the sequel to that. And so I'm just very active in writing. Once you get started and get it out there, that's gotta be really encouraging. And congratulations. Thank you. Yes. Congratulations. That's awesome. Okay, well, great. We've got everybody's information here in the uh, in the chat and have it recorded. So I again, I appreciate you guys attending today and uh, let's keep everybody getting together and doing art. For sure. Thank you. Thank you. See you tonight. <laughs> yep, see you tonight. Bye.